the one who defeated Jason, not Tommy, and I have his mask to prove it. I'm in sound and I saw Friday the 13th Part 4, aka the final chapter. It is directed by Joseph Zito, written by Barney Cohen, and if you haven't seen this movie, I will spoil it for you. Jason is dead from the last movie. This movie takes place immediately after the last movie. And we're at the morgue, and guess what? Jason's body is gone. Can you believe it? I believe it. How is it possible that Jason is alive for so long? Can anyone defeat Jason? Why does he keep coming back? Well, anyway, Jason's like, I'm gonna go to Camp Crystal Lake, because that's his house, the lake anyway. Not any structure near the lake, but the lake itself is his house. So anyway, we also have a bunch of dumb teenagers decide to go to Camp Crystal Lake. I guess because there was some rumor that Jason was dead, and so they decide to be like, oh, Jason's dead, it's time to go there, the place where Jason's known for. And I guess it's some sort of thrill that there is to go to Camp Crystal Lake at this point. But man, it's been freaking three movies, and now we're on the fourth movie? and people were still going to Camp Crystal Lake? Man, how dumb are these people? Or how exorbitantly low are these prices that a bunch of teenagers can just go at any point? It makes me wonder who runs the cabins at Camp Crystal Lake? It sure ain't Jason himself, or maybe it is. We're also introduced to Tommy. He's a little boy at this point. And there's also a bunch of teenagers skinny dipping. Look, I've never been skinny dipping ever. Have you been skinny dipping? How popular is it to skinny dip? I know my older brother skinny dipped, but it was with guys. There was never a woman around when he did that. And I never got the opportunity to skinny dip as a teenager. So seeing this, I'm like, man, I wish I skinny dipped. But I also didn't really have a group of friends who wanted to skinny dip, and I was really fat in high school. So maybe there's that too. Have you skinny dipped? Leave a comment in the below. Obviously, it's a Friday the 13th movie, so Jason comes and offs them one by one. There seems to be some interesting dynamics happening with this teenager group. Some teenagers have crushes on people, and they catch oh no, you're, my crush is sleeping with somebody else, I'm so sad. And then they decide to leave, and that's when Jason gets them. And one by one by one by one, they're got, 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 got. I think my favorite way that Jason gets these teenagers, there is this projection screen that a teenager decides to go way too close to. And this is why you should never sit close to projection screen or else Jason might stab you. Life lesson learned. Never get too close to a projection or else Jason might come in from behind, behind the projection screen that is, and stab you in the butt or in the eyes or any other body part, okay? Jason is lurking. He's everywhere. He's all over the place. If you've seen a Friday the 13th movie, this is that, it's another one of those. However, there are some few key differences and Tommy is there. Also, this is the one where we see Jason's face underneath the mask for the first time and it is hugely deformed. It makes me wonder what happened to him. Does drowning cause that? <laughs> Does drowning cause those face marks? What's going on with his face? Also, very distinctly different from his appearance in the first movie too where he's like grabbing the person from the from the water in that boat but i remember that and i was like man that's a different face what happened to jason since then oh all the attempts to stop him has left him with a lot of face marks okay i understand also what's interesting tommy very important character in this movie even though he's a youngin, he seems to be the smartest out of everyone here. Man, I feel like teenagers aren't thinking with their heads, but they're thinking with their heads, if you know what I mean. So all these teenagers are not at all aware of what's happening around them until it's too late. And Tommy's over here like, man, this Jason guy needs to be stopped. And there's a point where Tommy gets him in the head with an ax and then his mask falls off and then the, we get to see his face and then he falls down. Tommy 
very wise young boy. He's like, oh my goodness, his hands are still moving. And he starts like hitting him over and over and over with the freaking ax or whatever weapon he has. He's like, <laughs> Jason is still gonna rise though, man. I'm sorry, but this is a Friday the 13th series, and I know there are more Friday the 13th movies out there, so Jason will come back, despite your efforts, Tommy. However, I'm excited to see how brutally deformed he is in this movie. I gotta say, this movie feels like the other ones. I already mentioned that, but it's kind of boring at this point. Oh wow, he's doing the slashing, wow didn't predict it. I feel like the fresh take is at the end when we have Tommy hitting him a bunch. Very cathartic. I don't think anybody does that in the previous films, if I remember correctly. And it's pretty epic. And I'm like, man, Tommy, I want to see you in other films. It seems like you have the big brain out of everyone here. In a movie marathon, I feel like this would be kind of blended together with the other Friday the 13th movies, except for the end, because of how like it is to the other ones, how similar it is to the other ones. Other than that, it's all right. It's an all right movie. I'm excited for the other ones. I want to see how they switch it up in this one. And there's a lot more fire in this one too, I noticed. Not a ton, but more than the other movies, there's fire. By the way, huge shout out to 6 x 6 on Twitter. Here's his Twitter right here. He made the mask. His Twitter is in the description below if you want something like this. I gotta give this a solid 6.4 out of 10. If you like this review, watch another one. The platform really likes that. $20 Dino is at patreon.com slash ASU presents for one movie review for one month. Go to this link tree to support the daily grindiness of all them daily movie reviews. And until next time, I'm in salad sauce. See you later, my salad croutons, big bits.